Hello, good afternoon. I'm Chris Holden, the editor of Fender Graphics, and I coordinate Ray Pat's collection at Fender Graphics. So I'm here uh, showing another exhibition at Wedding Cafe that is in my hometown, Porto, and I find it quite interesting because I gather artists from 28 countries, and they are more than 200, so so uh, it's a uh, bit difficult to uh, organize them all but and I chose Mourinho as my alter ego because as you can see here uh, it's a big uh, it's a painting done by Santiago Sequeira as a Spanish artist where you can see Mourinho eating Cristiano Ronaldo because he was not playing for the team so in here you can see some rem reminiscence of Francisco Goya because that it was a uh, Spanish house as well. Oh, and here yeah, I have another Moreno. This is, this is another Moreno at Porto because it was in Porto and it was, it was possible to win in FFC Porto. And it is interesting because it connects with the stories that, I, that I'm making for photographics be published in free book club. So yeah, sometimes people ask me what is Invicta in the arts or that I use my blog. They ask me if I have a team. So my team are my friends, my, my team are people that help me on something, doing some do something. And this is the drawing here is made by Argentine artist Ed. So yeah, you can say uh, Cristiano Ronaldo as top of Finland because this was showed also in Finland where several trivets were exhibited more than 82. So in order to do all that, this, is, uh, this takes, took me too long to do this since 2014. I had to get a little game in Finland in my mind because it's sometimes it dreams, other times it brought me nightmares. So this is a drawing made by Argentine artist Mr. Red. It's strange because in order for you to have a dream, you must work a lot, put our lives in front of our dreams in order for the dreams to come true. Last but not least, of course, I have a personal life. Of course, that I am only an, an individual. I also have my inner demons and demons from the outside. So I, I decided to ask art, Spanish artist Felipe Asio Navarro to do me a John Constantine series in order for me to put my mind in order to organize all these amazing artists from all the artists that made tributes to me. So here we have another Spanish artist named Alberto Pons Vasquez the, that made a Valentina. So, this Valentina is uh, a Valentina that breaks the rules, so that's why I put here break the comic Valentina because it was censored. Some parts of Valentina was censored in, in the 60s, so it, it is quite interesting. So and here we have another Spanish artist named Juan Berrio, who made a Valentina, a really beautiful Valentina with a bike with a bike from the, from the 50s, which is which I find quite amazing as well. Oh uh, yeah, we have another Spanish artist. So here uh, you can see uh, a very simple Valentina. She, she's taking a photograph. You can see nothing, nothing at all. So you only see yellow, that in English means joy. Perhaps it was what the artist was transmitting, I don't know. So here we have a, a Brazilian artist, and then Fernando Guedes. And you can see here, the composition that it's quite similar to what Kripak said. Here you have Chris Strigli, another Spanish artist. You can see here Balanera and another Alter Ego embracing himself. Here some sort of Valentinas everywhere. That reminds me a bit of Hieronymus Bosch. I find it quite innocent. There is a French artist named Johan Zwart. So, here yeah, you can see a creation of him, the, uh, the Raven's Cat. So, I, I believe that it's quite, quite innocent because he, he's a 
well-known artists in the comics books industry. Here is a model named Antonella Adamo that I met personally in Porto. And she was really nice and so she made a photograph as a Valentina. So Valentina influenced women of today, so 21st century, which I find quite interesting. Hey, in here is another Spanish artist named Joaquin Aldeguer. It's quite a, st a stylized Valentina. I find it quite interesting as well. Here you can see an American artist named Andy Bennett, Andy Bennett that made a composition similar to what Crepax did in the 60s. Here is another Italian artist named Sergio Poccioni that was published by Center Graphics. So you can see here a man looking at Valentina and Valentina painting his portrait. I found it quite amazing. This is from a Portuguese artist named Agatha Roa and it's a typical Portuguese Valentina. I find it interesting and simple. And here it's Valentina by Bob Borden and it's a comic book creator and you can see here Valentina by Guido Crepax and with his character Flaming Carrot. I find it interesting because I like both characters. Here you can see the, another Valentina by Lem Casanada Serrano and you can see here a Vulture and you can see here a Fallen Angel and you can see here Valentina. So it's a, a sort of a puzzle so it's really really amazing. Really. Here yeah, you have another Valentina by Jeffrey Allen Love, but it's clearly inspired in Louise Brooks that he was the muse of Greypax along with his wife Louisa Greypax. Here you have another Valentina by a Spanish artist named Eduardo Alvarado Sanchez Garcia, and he made a sketch, a wonderful sketch of Valentina. Here you have another Brazilian artist named Laudo Ferreira Jr. So we made a Valentina that it seems like she's flying in a landscape. And here we have John Anna Azaola. He is a, a Spanish artist as well. So <coughs> in here it's clearly a Valentina of the 80s. Here you can see a Russian artist that made several Valentinas in movement. So you can see here, Valentina walking, 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 and then taking a picture to create bags. I find it quite amazing. Here is from Deborah Fien. She is from Porto, she is Portuguese, and she drew this Valentina here in Porto, in this same cafe here. So, you can see uh, Louise, Louise Book styles, when I asked her to do the history of it because she was the muse of Creeper. Yeah, a Brazilian artist that put Valentina riding a, a, a man's head. So I find it interesting because Valentina, you can see here the independence of women regarding men. And here you see another Brazilian artist named Eder. And you can see here Valentina dreaming, taking pictures of herself. Here you have a French artist named Isabel Pessoa. So here you have two drawings by Greypack and I got here my help smoking a cigarette similar to the ones made at La Veneta. Period. So I don't know what I can say, but it's based on these books of course. And here you have one of the best Spanish artists, Javier Olivares, who is also being published by Fanta Graphics with his book Las Meninas, which I find quite interesting because it has, it has, it has lots of style. Right. But here we have another artist, Fernando Vicente, that is Spanish, and I really love this one here. And here is an Italian artist named Rocco Lombardi, and you can see here Valentina, his son, in a wolf. So I find it interesting. Here you have 
a Brazilian artist named Tainan Rocha, and you can see her in watercolor, Valentina, and a kitty. That reminds me of my kitty over, and you can see here also her camera. Here yeah, you have an American artist named Justina Mara Anderson, and by the composition you can see that it's quite similar to what Crepax did. Special thanks to Wayne Cafe and to my friend Daniel Castro for providing the second exhibition here. And helping me gathering my ideas and this coffee that I love a lot of it, that has the best croissants in the world. So, huge thanks to the man. And to all the ladies who serve me coffee all days when I come here. Ladies and men.